Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Hellick. Canada's new Prime Minister Justin Trudeau traveled to Washington this past week for an official state visit. The first by a Canadian leader in nearly two decades. Cheers. At a state dinner, the president gave the Prime Minister a warm welcome. This visit's been a celebration of the values that we share. Thank you for all that you have done these past seven years to preserve this most important relationship. May the special connection between our two countries continue to flourish in the years to come. And may my gray hair come in at a much slower rate than yours has. <laughs> Justin Trudeau was born into Canadian political royalty. His father, Pierre, served as prime minister for nearly 16 years. Trudeau, who is now 44, followed in his father's footsteps into politics. He became the second youngest prime minister ever elected in Canada last fall. We are Canadians and Americans alike, guided by the same core values. Values like cooperation and respect. The two leaders talked about shared goals between the U.S. and Canada, like combating climate change and protecting the environment. As the first U.S. president to visit the Arctic, I saw how both of our nations are threatened by rising seas, melting permafrost, disappearing glaciers, and sea ice. We'll take ambitious action to reduce methane emissions nearly by half from the oil and gas sector. They also talked about border issues, including allowing U.S. customs officers to pre-screen passengers at Montreal's Central Train Station, so trains will no longer have to stop at the border. That could save an hour or even two off the trip from Montreal to Albany or New York City. And there was also some levity and good-natured ribbing over the Expo's move to Washington a decade ago and America's recent dominance in hockey, Canada's national sport. Where's the Stanley Cup right now? I'm sorry, is it in my hometown with the Chicago Blackhawks? And it was also announced that President Obama will travel to Ottawa and address Canada's parliament in June.